Okay, we're about to show you a bit of layering. Now, a lot of people have no trouble finding uh, the ability to do means with just normal overlays, where you've got a head plonked on a body, or maybe some text stamped on a sign. Easy done. But what happens when you want an image that's partially covered? So what we want to do now, we're going to make a I want to make a mean with a copper and someone coming half out of the copper. So we bring in your assets, um, let's say, we want to make that just a tad bigger. It's reasonably important to get the proportions right, but um, there we go. So there's that, and then what we want to bring into that, and like here are quite a few that I've prepared earlier. Um, I want to put Peter Dutton coming out of that. I haven't got that many cutouts of Dutton, but I'm going to use this one here as part of the body. Okay, so firstly, here's a little tip. He's round the wrong way, so that's easy. It's just, just a mirror. Okay, and then I want him coming out of there, so we've got to get the proportions right in the head, and mind you, this photo's a bit weird. Um, the angle he's on. It's important to probably get it to reasonably the right size, but you can emphasize things um, if you want. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's what you're stuck with if you put one on top of the others. But what we want is the front of the coffin here um, to be in front of him. And we want, you know, his shoulders and arm, whatever, underneath that image. So it's simple, really. Um, you do what's called layering. Now, at the moment, you can see we've got two layers. We've got Dutton and we've got the coffin. But what we want is part of the coffin along the front here to be in front of Dutton. So that's pretty good and easy to do. Let's just come in here. And this program's called Inpixio Photo Clip, but any of the uh, decent Photoshop um, type programs have a what's called a lasso function. We want to get a lasso and we want a perfect line. So we bring the feather level down to naught. And what we want to do is we want to cut pretty accurately. Well, actually precisely along the edge that's going to go up against him. And look, we've got a little bit of play here because it's not particularly distinct um, how this goes. Um, you know, you can be a bit out. Some things you've got to be spot on. So if we put this here, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out. And you don't have to be accurate when you've got a few, because all of that covers him. Um, and all of this covers him. Um, so these bits don't have to be accurate, but probably not even correct. I find it um, an advisable thing to do is to take a little bit more, but because sometimes you've got to get your, your cuts right on him. No, there's probably no need to go that far, but um, anyway, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Now there's the image. Um, <laughs> you know, obsessive compulsive, right? Okay, so that's the image we want. So it's a simple matter then of just um, copying and pasting. Um, uh, Pixie has moved it. Sometimes you can be lucky and it will just leave it exactly where it is. In that case, you don't have to move it. You just have to copy and paste it. So let's just line this up. That's the way I can I mean, yeah. Okay, and then, see, we've got that layer. We've got the layer there for the coffin front. We've got Dutton himself. And we have the coffin itself as layers. Okay, now that image, there's Dutton there. He needs to be behind the partial cutout, which is the way it's worked because I've copied and pasted onto the top of the whole thing. But you know, it's just easy to click it around and move him if need be. And so Dutton's there, there's the front of his coffin, there's the back of the coffin. So we bring this in here and we just slip him behind the layer. Just bring him down to scale um, for artistic purposes. We might 
Oh my god, he did cut it back to the... Actually, see how... Now we've got the black here, you can see. It's wow! See how far I cut? Alright. Good enough. Oh, okay. That's the problem I'm coming up there. So he has to... He can't move beyond there, so... As I said, I need to cut a bit more out there. And you might actually think, yeah, it always pays. But that will work. Like uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, when you're working at 500% there, you can see a lot more than a normal reader is going to use. Let's just get back a little more. I like it a bit smaller because the, the dead body would be that big. I do like the idea of the head sticking out of the desk. And of course, you know, see, so you've got from. Uh, there to use, so he needs to actually put it straighter. That looks realistic enough for me. And there he is, behind the liar.